what is up guru gang if you are new welcome to my channel today y'all i will be finally finally sharing with you guys my sephora sale recommendations sale goes on through the 24th and honestly i don't feel like a lot of stuff has been selling out compared to like the fall vib sale because that is kind of closer to the holidays so i feel like a lot of people are buying gifts for the holidays and also there are a lot more like value sets and stuff like that when it's the fall vib sale as opposed to the spring one so i don't feel like there's a ton of stuff selling out at least on my end a lot of my stores are still fully stocked and i really have not felt the need to run out and get anything like everything that i'm recommending you guys is still in stock to my knowledge because a lot of the stuff i've already talked about on my channel it's not new to y'all if y'all have watched my empties i'm going to start with the sephora collection items because the sephora collection items are 30 percent off no matter what tier you are so i have tons of favorites from the sephora collection everything from the sephora collection is already super affordable so stack on that 30 percent off girl you are going to be saving a ton so this is a good time to try things that you have never tried or just stock up on your fave sephora collection micro smooth setting powder so this you guys i love and all of the girlies rave about this powder i think i first got put onto this by Alyssa ashley and arnella armand this this powder is definitely the truth mine is in the shade almond now i do typically use this to set my bronzer right now because this shade is a little bit darker for me in my in my complexion right now but since we are getting into the warmer months and i'm getting a lot more sun i am starting to already get a little bit tan once i start to develop more into my true summer color i'm in that weird in between shade right now but once i'm in my summer color i do use this to set like my whole face but i absolutely love this powder highly recommend it it definitely is an easy to use powder to set everything smooth everything out and just make your makeup looks super super flawless and have that finished look next sephora collection item that i want to speak on is the little cleansing balm for your makeup brushes as well as your sponges y'all i love this i have repurchased this time and time again the only thing i wish is i wish it was a little bit bigger but sorry for how gross it looks that's obviously makeup because i use this but yeah it's so easy to use i don't actually use this little cleansing mat that comes with it i actually have a larger makeup cleansing mat that i use but i do love this all you do is just wet it you take your sponge or your brush and you just dip it in there swirl it around and just rub it on top of a mat and it just gets super super clean so i used to use the dr bronner's castile soap on my brushes but that took forever to rinse out so this is just so easy to use y'all like one and done you're good to go so yeah highly recommend this and again it is 30 percent off the next thing i recommend you guys is the sephora collection this is the retractable brow pencil. So this is the brow pencil that I have been using as well as one other brow pencil I will be talking about later in this video. But this one is in the shade brown, medium brown. So yeah, I typically like a warm tone brown. Like I do actually like to go for something a little bit more of a warm tone brown, but I do like this one because even though it's kind of cool tone, it still works for my shade right now. But of course it comes with the little spoolie and then it's got this super, super fine tip so that you can make those like really small brow stroke type line so yeah definitely love this super affordable amazing amazing option for a brow pencil and these you guys i have a ton of but these are just the sephora collection these are the lip liner to goes i love these to throw on my purse you can also get the full size lip liner as well the one that's retractable i do by the way have an entire like list of all of my sephora recommendations in one gigantic link if you guys want to just shop it and do like buy online pick up in store or curbside like my store offers curbside so i did not have to shop for any of my stuff um literally just drove up picked it up girl they brought it out to the car so if you guys just want to see the link that has everything um because some of the stuff i don't physically have i forgot to grab it so yeah but either the retractable pencil or these i just love these for having my touch-ups like if i'm out and i have on a really cute lip combo and i want to keep it going i definitely love the little small ones because they fit in your purse you don't have to worry about them breaking and yeah they're just super easy to use y'all they're super super cute i just have three shades right here but i do have some in like some browns and an orange as well last of four collection item that i recommend you guys that i rave about talk about in so many of my videos are the sephora collection glosses i only grab the ones in these containers i also have some bomb amazing ones in the little plastic squeezy tubes i love those but 
these are just some shades that I love and highly, highly recommend. So I'm actually going to swatch some of them for you guys. I didn't want this video to be too super, super long, but I do want to show you guys some of my favorite lip glosses from the Sephora collection. So this one is in the shade Unbothered. This one I have worn in a bunch of my past few videos. So I did want to show you, but it's just kind of like this bronzy brassy copper shade it's so beautiful on top of like brown mattes or neutral mattes or even just by itself y'all and it's so pigmented so here y'all like that is so bomb literally so yeah that is the shade unbothered this other one that's kind of like a duo chromey pink bubblegum pink it's so beautiful you guys this one is in the shade wild and this one i love to wear on top of pink looks or i like to wear it just by itself because it's so pretty it kind of has like this iridescent purple pink kind of vibe going on like it's very y2k ish but yeah that is what that one looks like super super cute i would have tried them on you guys but i already have a lip combo on for the day <laughs> so one of them i am wearing today so i'll talk about that one next so this one is the shade brave so this is kind of just one of those mauvey pinks those are typically my go-to with a brown liner which is what i did today so yeah that is what brave looks like this one i love in the fall y'all this was this one is in the shade supreme so it's kind of like a chocolate reddish brown i just love a good red brown but y'all this one is so pigmented like it literally to me goes on almost like a lipstick like look at that y'all look at that color just from one little swipe so yeah i typically do this one on top of a brown lip or sometimes i wear it by itself with just a liner because it is just that pigmented it's just this very rich chocolate milk chocolate brown love it last one that i love is shade money so hello like who doesn't love a shade called money but this is another very shimmery gloss you guys will see I have a thing for browns and I have a thing for shimmery lip glosses, which by the way, I do have a lip gloss haul coming soon, okay? But yeah, so that is what Money looks like. It's very duochrome -y. It literally reminds me of Money because it has kind of that gold iridescent little and with like a little bit of this kind of orangey vibe. Highly recommend the Sephora glasses for sure. Now that the actual Sephora collection items are out of the way, let me go ahead and jump into some of my skincare favorites and then I will jump into makeup and here's me realizing that halfway through this footage my camera autofocus decided to stop working so unfortunately you guys the rest of the products that i'm showing you into the camera are going to be out of focus so i did go ahead and just include side by side shots of what these products look like inside of the app to make up for the fact that you really cannot clearly see them once i hold them up to the screen Okay, y'all, I'm going to keep it short, sweet, and to the point because a lot of this stuff, like I said, I have already talked about, so I'll have everything linked, but we're going to start with my cleanser. Youth to the people, this is the kale and green tea spinach superfood cleanser. I've talked about this before. I have emptied this before, purchased another one. Like, swear by this cleanser, you guys. It just makes my face feel very, very clean, but it also gives my face just this nice healthy glow also a cleanser that a little bit goes a long way like i literally only have to use one pump of this and i just get this nice creamy lather all over my face and it doesn't irritate me as someone who has sensitive acne prone skin this is just a holy grail for me will 100 percent always repurchase this and yeah i just love using this i use it in the morning and at night but this is just a cleanser that I can use for any of my skincare routines, especially if I plan on doing a routine that has a lot of like actives in it. I definitely start off with this because it just helps to calm my face and prep it for whatever else that I'll be applying to it. My next fave cleanser is of course the Total Cleanser from Fenty. You guys, this does a really, really amazing job at removing just oil, SPF, sunscreen, and things like that. And I usually like to purchase this in the travel size because it is lightly scented so it doesn't irritate me but i do like to only use this in moderation and more specifically if you are traveling this is just a perfect travel size item as well so there is a travel size set i believe you can pick up and that will definitely be something great to purchase during the vib sale because you can test out some of the products you can test out a smaller amount of the products to see how they work for you before committing to a full size i want to mention one other cleanser which is actually a cleansing balm that i love from a pharmacy i have a picture of it on the screen but i have emptied it in a few videos i plan on picking up 
another one myself once I do my shopping for the sale. But if you guys are looking for a really, really amazing makeup cleansing balm, I highly recommend that one. It gets my makeup off super well. Um, I do plan on picking up the Fenty one because I have not tried that one out yet. Great for sensitive skin. I highly, highly recommend that makeup cleansing balm. You can even start out with the mini size because even with the discount, you guys, it is a little bit pricier but I do really, really love the effects of it. Moving on to toners, serums, treatments, and things like that, I do wanna mention both of the Fenty Skin Fat Waters. Again, this one, as you guys can see, I'm almost done with. This is the Milky Toner Essence Fat Water. And then I have a travel size of the original Fat Water, which again, I just like having the Fenty travel size skincare items because they are just perfect to throw in a bag and go if you have a carry-on or whatever the case may be even just keeping these in my bag like sometimes if i go over to my mom's house and i like didn't intend on staying like y'all know how it is if you go to your family's house and you just have a good old time and i didn't anticipate you know spending the night it's good to have these in my purse because i can just have my skincare and stuff with me so that if i do end up crashing at my parents place or whatever like i just have something in my bag already so yeah highly recommend it it just gives my face a nice glow also all of the fenty products are really amazing for hyperpigmentation which is something that I struggle with daily, y'all. So I do notice that when I'm using like just the entire Fenty skincare line, my skin is definitely a lot brighter and it just looks really, really healthy. If I wasn't such a product junkie, y'all, like I would probably strictly use just all Fenty skin products, but I just have my faves in so many other categories from other brands that I probably won't be doing that, but I highly recommend it if you want something easy, a no brainer like situation, literally just get the cleanser the toner and then the uh, Hydrovisor SPF. Highly recommend the SPF as well. It just gives your skin a nice juicy glow and it also has SPF girl and you cannot be out here skipping your SPF. Okay like that is one thing that I learned in my 20s. I'm 31 now y'all. I didn't start wearing SPF and being serious about it until maybe I was like 27 or something so I caught it you know at an early enough time to go ahead and make a difference but y'all you need SPF, okay? Like, don't let nobody tell you otherwise, especially if you deal with hyperpigmentation, dark spots and acne scars, girl, blemishes. Like, you are not going to reverse that if you are not out here wearing your SPF, okay? So, yeah. And speaking of SPF, I kind of skipped a step, but that is okay. This is the Resist Polish Choice Youth Extending Daily Fluid SPF. Y'all, it was so hard for me to just say that just now. I don't know why, but... As you guys can see, she's well loved. This is another thing that I am about to empty right now and I do plan on picking up a couple more SPFs when I go to the sale. Honestly, you guys, my go-to SPF is Black Girl Sunscreen, which you can pick up from Target. I do like to have a higher SPF in the summer that I use if I plan on being outside and things like that. So yeah, this is definitely my go-to. It's very no fuss, super easy to blend into your skin. It does not leave a white cast. I do find a lot of the times that higher SPFs give me a higher probability of breaking out unfortunately but this i literally have no issues with no complaints so on those days where i really feel like i need something more than an spf 30 35 i typically will wear this one and then a couple more polish choice items so this item you guys i have spoken about in several empties videos as well now this gigantic bottle you can pick this up from sephora um i think i got this bottle from a nordstrom anniversary sale set so this has lasted me a good amount of time and i will be restocking during the vib sale because this is almost out but this is literally like my daily exfoliant like typically i always exfoliate at night um and depending on what type of skincare routine i plan on doing this is just a must-have for me sometimes i use this twice a day but i usually always use it at night because it just helps with keeping your skin even, resurfacing like any texture you may have on your skin, and also just helping to speed up the process of your skin turning over those new cells. So if you're not regularly exfoliating, I do typically prefer a chemical exfoliant as opposed to a physical one because like I said, I have sensitive skin and I don't typically like to use a lot of abrasive products. But this definitely gives me those results that I need and also helps all of my other products to absorb a lot faster. And I definitely notice a difference when I am not using this. So like I said, this one's almost about done. So I will for sure be picking up another one. This also from the Resist line that I've emptied countless times. This is the Advanced Replenishing Toner. Now this toner and the Fenty Hydrating Milky Toners 
are toners that I typically use if I have a routine that's got a bunch of actives in it or if I'm doing a heavy mask or some sort of treatment that I feel like it contains a lot of chemicals and I just want basically you guys if I have a certain area of my skincare routine for that evening that's like heavy duty which I'm going to show you what I'm talking about for the next product I typically like everything else in my skincare routine to be very simple very you know clean very calming or hydrating because if you have too many different actives and too many different steps of your skincare it kind of cancels out the effects of the other ones so they just aren't as effective so this is just an easy toner for me to use typically I'm someone who tones after almost every skincare step so this is a non-irritating toner that really just balances my skin's pH levels just helps it to revert back to normal and just makes it very calm and yeah highly recommend this one same for the Fenty one like they're the hydrating one they're just very hydrating and they just make your skin feel quenched and healthy and refreshed okay y'all now on to the treatments of serum so these are the dr dennis gross these are the extra strength daily peel pads you guys i picked this up during the last vib sale where i got the gigantic pack with like 60 pads in it and i still have some left you guys because this is literally something i've gone down to using maybe once a week um, in the winter time, I don't typically use it as much because I'm not like out in the sun. I'm not wearing a whole, whole lot of SPF. But now that the warmer months are approaching, I will probably be using it a lot more often. So even though I do still have a good amount of these left, I may go ahead and pick up another one because these are a very pricey item. Um, I would recommend people just start off with the regular strength one because I did work my way up to the extra strength because this is a product that I've used for a couple of years now. So I highly recommend this just as kind of like a more intense exfoliant to really help with any problem areas anywhere you've got like some larger pores or you have a breakout or you have some stubborn scarring like this really just helps the cell turnover of your skin and really just resurfacing your skin retexturizing it making it smooth making it clear and helping all of your other products to absorb it that much more effectively you guys so again this is one of those things I don't use every single day like I use this one maybe once a week now and my skin works and it works really really well for me and you can also pick up just like the travel pack or you can pick up like a sample pack I believe so you don't have to commit to a larger package of them and you could try out which ones work for you I also have two items from glow recipe so this is the glow recipe nice and in my dew drops I just recently talked about these in my last favorites video highly recommend these I love these under my makeup I love these on the days I'm doing just bare skin and honestly y'all Sometimes I will just put this on and then put my SPF on top of it. My skin just has such a nice radiant glow. Like it just looks sun-kissed. It looks like just healthy. Like this literally makes your skin look healthy. Like that's all I have to say about it. It's super moisturizing, does not irritate me. And yeah, it works great under makeup or by itself. This next item, this is the Strawberry Smooth BHA and Sicilic Acid Serum. I don't know if you guys can tell, but this is almost done and honestly, I probably would have finished it but I started to use the good molecule serum and I just have been so obsessed with that one not to say that this one is not as good because this one I feel like you do have to be very consistent with it to see results at least for my skin but I do really really like it I'm probably going to try and go ahead and finish it up I would for sure repurchase it but my holy grail right now is the good molecule serum which that is not currently sold at Sephora, unfortunately, but I do highly recommend this one for hyperpigmentation and, you know, just like I said, scarring and things like that. Those are things that I deal with with my skin. So that is what most of my skincare um, serums and things like that are targeted for. And then a couple of items for the body. So these are the ingrown hair pads from First Aid Beauty. This is something else that I have emptied before on my channel. This is actually the larger size because I just love using these under my arms i love to use this on my legs or on my stomach area and especially y'all since we are getting closer to the summer we're gonna be outside we're gonna be showing a little bit more skin like this just helps so much with razor bumps ingrowns and things like that even if i feel one coming or i do get one this literally helps it to go away so fast you guys and they're just so convenient to use you don't have to worry about getting a cotton ball and pouring some liquid on there like they're super, super easy to use, you guys. So yeah, anywhere you deal with ingrowns or even hyperpigmentation on your body, these are amazing for. Highly recommend these. 
course i could not do this without talking about my fenty butter drop you guys this is the og formula i do personally prefer the vanilla dream one because it does have a light vanilla smell but the og is amazing as well and you can mix in any scented body oil and your skin just feels so soft to the touch let's hope that we get like another scented fenty butter drop coming out soon right because i feel like she's been pretty good about like doing a new one at least we've, we've only got those two but i feel like i feel like there should be another one on the horizon like if we get a mango or a peach one that would be bomb girl but anyways yes highly recommend the fenty butter drop this is a body butter that even though it's a little pricey it's one that i recommend because I feel like so many other body butters that Sephora sells, they're pricey, but they just aren't worth the price. You know what I'm saying? Like, for example, let's talk about the one from Way, the St. Bars. I was going to include that in this video, but honestly, you guys, I don't even feel comfortable telling y'all that I recommend that because... That body butter is like $40 or something like that. It's around the same price as the Fenty Butter Drop. And y'all, when I tell y'all, it did nothing special to me. Granted, it did smell nice. It reminded me, the smell reminded me of Bath & Body Works by Kiki Beach Coconut. But the texture of it, like I don't think the formula did anything amazing to justify me spending $40 on it. Like I have body butters from Tree Hut that I feel like moisturized more than the one from Whey. And the Tree Hut ones are $8. So yeah, I definitely recommend the Fenty Butter Drop for sure because I definitely think it is worth the price. Okay, y'all. And then the last body care item that's like a fave, fave, fave of mine during this time of year. I have this in two colors, but this is the Sol de Janeiro Glow Motions. This is the one in the Copa Copacabana Bronze. This is the glowing oil. Now I, y'all, used this so much last summer. This gives your skin the nicest bronze shimmery glow and it smells amazing. The only issue is, you guys, I think that I'm not sure if it was limited edition or what. Like I know every year or every summer, like we do see this come back. At least the past couple of summers I've seen it and there's like always a new fun color. So hopefully it starts to come back like I don't know it's showing up on the app still but it is marked as out of stock so I feel like as long as it's still showing up on the app and it's not completely gone there's a high chance that it restocks so I'm going to link it anyway because this is one of my favorite just nice body glow especially if you mix it with a body oil like girl this is just it so I have this I have this color of course because it complements my skin tone really well but I do also have the lighter it's like a rose gold like pinkish kind of color and that one is nice as well but this one is my personal favorite i do have two hair care items that i want to mention now these two recommendations you guys are definitely going to be geared towards more of my natural hair girls i cannot speak too much for anyone who has fine hair or silkier hair but anyone who has the ranging from the three to four you know curl pattern type i would highly recommend this brand it probably works really well for everyone but i'm just speaking on my personal hair texture so yeah this is the ajwa beauty this is the bow mint line so i went ahead and grabbed the deep conditioning treatment and the bow mint oil you guys my hair drinks these products up like even before i started purchasing this from sephora i got this in a curl box subscription like years ago and i was absolutely hooked like this is when the brand was only sold exclusively on their website i don't even like buying stuff online like that and i was buying this from their website like that is how deep it was for me it's so rare that i find hair care products that really make a difference for me to be like okay i need to keep buying that because i'm just kind of lackadaisical with hair care products like i'm just like girl get the job done if my curls are popping then it's fine but no my hair seriously noticed a difference when i'm using these products so yeah highly recommend honestly the entire bow mint line and their products in general my hair just love and now let's go ahead and jump into some makeup well, let's start with foundation type products this is the nars light reflecting advanced foundation now this one you guys is almost empty and honestly i'm kind of glad it is because my shade is a little off this is the shade cadiz or cadiz and honestly it's a little bit too red for me my true color in this i believe is the shade moria um but i'm just gonna go in and get completely shade match for a new shade because i'm just in that weird in between summer and winter shade right now i think this is more of my summer shade but i don't expect to be using this shade again until probably like july august when it gets super hot here so yeah i definitely need a more in between shade it's very long wearing i am typically 
I don't have oily skin until I wear foundation if that makes sense like it makes it, it makes no difference what foundation it is my skin just automatically gets oily when I put foundation on that's just I don't know my skin is just weird but this definitely fights through and also it, there's literally like no kickback when I take pictures if y'all didn't notice I have a huge forehead so I have to be very conscious of stuff like that and yeah this definitely does really really well in photos for me highly recommend it again it's long wearing and NARS she's just that girl and another one of my faves this is the Charlotte Tilbury Hollywood flawless filter this is in the shade tan and it's got this super big doe foot little applicator here now this is not a new product by any means none of these products are particularly new honestly you guys but again this is a favorites video recommendations video so i have tried the elf dupe for this and the elf dupe for some reason makes me break out like crazy so i don't i i, I would rather just spend the coins on the charlotte tilbury one it's fine but this one I love. A lot of people recommend this under makeup, but I love this on the days where, like, if I'm just doing the SPF in the um, in the Glow Recipe Niacinamide Dew Drops, I'll go in with this and just set it with like a little bit of powder and just do a little bit of under eye concealer. This gives you the most beautiful natural glow. It literally looks like your skin has a filter on it and you're not wearing makeup. So I love these on those super hot summer days. If I'm going somewhere where I don't want to do a full beat and I'm going to be outside or whatever the case may be. I just love this for just kind of that natural wake up and go. This is also amazing for me when I go to the gym and I'm like, I don't want to put a full beat on to go to the gym. But also I want to look like I'm awake and I'm alive because you never know who you're going to see in there, girl. So yeah, highly recommend this. This is a tried and true product of mine. All the girlies rave about it and she's a little bit pricey, but I personally think it's worth it. However, if you want to try out the e.l.f. version of it, go right ahead, girl. She's way cheaper. I just personally don't like that one because it makes my skin break out. So yeah, I did that totally backwards, y'all. I was supposed to start with the primers. But anyways, okay, so some of my favorite primers are, this is the Bobbi Brown Vitamin Enrich Face Base. As you guys can see, I am, I won't say almost done, but I'm gonna be emptying this soon. And this is like a holy grail product for me, you guys. Typically, even if I have on moisturizer or SPF, I will go in with this and then I will top it off with a more tacky primer because this just makes my skin feel super supple and it just makes my skin feel prepared and just like all the moisture is sealed into my skin before I apply makeup. And it also just makes my makeup look so much more flawless and smooth. So when I put on a more tacky primer on top of this, my makeup just looks bomb girl like it just looks completely bomb i did not use it today but this is a holy grail for me okay this is a holy grail um and then i usually top it off with the huda beauty glowish blur jam so if you guys can see this is definitely more of a like petroleum jelly type of texture if y'all can see but again this is not a new product but this is just something that i like to top off my face base with because this is definitely more of like a moisturizer I would say so it moisturizes my skin and I feel like I do need one more layer of just like something that my makeup can sit on top of so that is why I put this on top and then it just creates a flawless base for me girl so yeah these are my current go-to primers there is one other one on my list that I'm thinking about picking up I'm not sure but I'm probably not going to do a wish list video you guys because I'm still figuring out myself what I'm going to get. On to a couple of eye products. So this is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Wiz. Now, honestly, you guys, this one is way too dark. I accidentally bought this in the shade Ebony. I did not even realize it until the return period had already expired. So I've been using it and trying my best to kind of like mute out how dark it is or mix it with like more brown colors. But honestly, I'm probably just going to keep this for the spoolie itself because the color is just too dark for me. I typically, like I said, like a warm brown, a medium brown or something like that. But the brow pencil itself is the bomb, you guys. It has literally the smallest little point and it's just so, so precise when you want to create those hair like strokes and it is just the bomb it just make sure you get the right color for you girl because getting the wrong color in your brow pencil can definitely be detrimental to your experience so yeah so highly recommend the give beauty can't stop won't stop mascara now you guys this i did receive complimentary from give beauty and pr 
and I really was not checking for it. I was just kind of like, okay, I'll try it out eventually. I had like a really bad experience with one of the brow pencils. I could not stand it, that I was a little bit apprehensive. But y'all, this, I'm wearing it today, no lashes. Like it has my bottom lashes and my top lashes just popping from literally like two coats. If it's smudge, girl, ignore it because my eyes be watering for my allergies. But yeah, like it's just so bomb, you guys. And then here is the wand. So it looks pretty simple, but I also like how it has kind of like this tapered um, little small thing at the top. So I use that on my bottom lashes when I want something a little bit more isolated. This pleasantly surprised me, y'all. Like I'm very obsessed with this right now. This has been my go-to mascara. And let's talk a little bit of bronzers. So this is the Selena Gomez Rare Beauty Bronzer Stick. The shade that I use is the shade Always Sunny. So it's kind of like a more red brown i'm sorry for how gross it is y'all but again this is a product i regularly use and this is just such an easy to use bronzer i typically think i think that i just prefer cream based bronzers it just works better for my skin and it literally it just is so easy to apply right on the spots that you want to use it sometimes i will just take a small like tapered brush or a concealer brush and i will swipe it across the top and just like define my nose and stuff like that but yeah that just is kind of the versatility of cream based bronzers for me so I just love that so this shade is pretty spot on for me I really really enjoy it and yeah I may or may not pick up a little bit darker of a shade because as we get into the summer months this one's probably going to be closer to my skin complexion so I do think I want to get one that's a little bit darker but as far as the actual formula you guys I love it if you are someone who is a beginner to bronzing and contouring and things like that I definitely recommend this because this formula is super easy to use and it blends out like flawlessly and then this is the other item that I use for one of my bronzers this is the fashion fair this is the skin flex foundation stick and I have mine in the shade rich brownie so as you can see it's a lot darker um and this is a foundation stick but I use it as a bronzer because again I love bronzers and contours that come in this type of packaging. It just makes it easier for me to hit the areas that I need to hit, you know what I'm saying? And just go on about my business, blend it out with my beauty sponge and call it a day. So yeah, this brand I think is a little slept on and honestly, it used to be like really popular at one point. So I don't know, I feel like a lot of people don't talk about it, but this is another amazing, amazing, amazing contour and bronzer option. You just have to make sure you get the right shade for whatever you are trying to achieve. And concealer wise, the only concealer I'm gonna mention is the concealer that I've just been using all the time that I always talk about, but this is the Huda Beauty Faux Filter Concealer. As you can see, I have two shades here. I have the shade Praline, which is closer to my actual skin color, so I use that to conceal. And then I have the shade Caramel Corn, which is what I typically use for my under eyes, but honestly, I could probably go a shade brighter. Um, I'm not wearing it today on my under eye. I'm wearing an e.l.f. one on my under eye. It's a little bit bright because this one I think is starting to be too dark to brighten my under eye if that makes sense. Like this one I can probably use to conceal if I really wanted to. But I'm thinking I want maybe a shade or two brighter for my under eye area because I just want something that kind of livens up my face a little bit where I feel like this just kind of flattens it out so that's just a user error thing this is just not the right color for what I'm trying to do right now but I do love this concealer this is literally my go-to my favorite and once I get the correct colors back in my arsenal I will be using this 24 7 again and continuing on the Huda Beauty train this is another item I've talked about in several videos this is the Huda Beauty Easy Bake Setting Powder y'all this First of all, I use every single day and I still have so much product in here. Like you can 100% if you are able to score it because this is an item that does sell out pretty often. I would recommend getting the smaller one because I'm glad that I have this and I won't have to repurchase it at any time. But also it's kind of like if you are someone who likes to try out different setting powders, it's going to take forever for you to go through this. But the shade that I use is Blondie and I use this to set primarily under my eyes. I honestly could go with um, something that's a little bit more translucent because this one does have kind of a yellowish undertone to it. But 
I don't mind it. My undertones are pretty neutral, so I'm able to get away with a lot of different powders. But this one, you guys, I highly recommend. It just sets everything flawlessly. I literally use this on my under eye, my chin, my nose. Like, it's just bomb, y'all. If you have not tried this, the hype is 100% real. And then speaking of setting powders, this is the Fenty Beauty Invisimat. If you guys watch the uh, Super Bowl, girl, you already know all about this. This is no secret, but this is my go-to translucent setting powder and i use this you guys to set my eyebrows and my lips believe it or not to set my matte lip products and my matte lip looks so it doesn't transfer but also i have been using it to set my liner in place before i go in with my gloss that has been a game changer because i know sometimes you guys with lip liner looks like as the day goes on your lip liner just blurs out completely to where it looks like it's not on there and of course i say you know always reapply but continuing to create that contrast this is just a game changer for setting that in place before i go in with whatever i'm going to do on top so i have been obsessed with this for that purpose alone so yeah and then of course setting my brows like making sure my brows don't like sweat off or something especially if you're using like a cream based brow product so yeah highly recommend this for sure the rest of these powders are Fenty Beauty products but this is the Fenty Kilowatt freestyle highlighter duo so I have mine in the shade ginger binge and Moscow mule let me show you guys what that looks like so it's just a really pretty pink combo I have been obsessed with this I typically use this like on the high of the high points of my cheek on my nose bridge under my eyebrows like i use this a lot you guys especially when i'm doing kind of that soft pink kind of look i'm not wearing it today but i wear this in a ton of my videos if you guys ever see me having just a very soft baby doll pink look typically i have used this this is the fenty diamond bomb in the color cognac candy so this is what it looks like i'm sorry it looks a little a little weird but I typically use this on top of my body oils or body glows because it just adds a little bit more of that glowy bronze goddess look and this color is perfect for my skin tone. It makes my skin look glittery without looking like there's glitter on it. That makes sense. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, I love using this as a all over body glow powder. I was using it on my face at one point, but I just didn't like how it applied to my face. It could have just been the brush, but now at this point there's like oil in here. So I've been using this on my body to just give me like a nice glow, especially across my chest my shoulders and things like that like areas that are going to be exposed and this also looks amazing on top of that Sol de Janeiro Glow Motions lotion as well you guys I have the Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Powder this is in the shade Hazelnut and this one you guys this is another powder that's a little dark for me to set my entire face so that's what it looks like um so I primarily use this again to kind of set my bronzer or just to set other areas of my face and just go in with a super light hand because I do really like the formula. This color is just a little bit off for me right now. So that is an issue that I run into a lot, unfortunately, you guys, because I have just really weird all over the place undertones and it really depends on the season for me. So I just have a lot of products that I have to play around with and mix and match with, but I do really, really love this formula. And lastly, y'all, we're gonna finish off with some lip products. So we're gonna just keep it going with the Fenty train. I have tons of Fenty gloss bombs here. I don't even have my go-to shade. My go-to shade, you guys, is the original Fenty gloss bomb in the shade Fussy. That's like my go-to gloss. I love it. I have not repurchased it because honestly, I've been buying way too many lip glosses right now and I have a dupe for that so I have not needed to repurchase it but I do highly recommend just any and all of the Fenty glosses honestly you guys but this one is the diamond milk this one is just bomb on top of any matte combo or any combo in general it just adds kind of that glittery effect bomb on the days where you have nothing on your lips or if you want to add it on top of something else to give it a little bit more of like some dimension if you will and this is the fenty cream gloss this is in the shade cupcake in i'll actually swatch it so you guys can see i want to say one of these shades was like a limited edition shade in like a gift set i don't remember if it was this one or not but this one is so pretty you guys like i was about to actually wear this one for this video but i could not find it at the time that i was doing my makeup for some reason but yeah so that is cupcake in 
And here is another one. I think I got this one in the fall, but this one is in the shade Cookie Jar. So another one of the cream glosses, which I've been absolutely loving cream glosses lately. Like I never used to be a cream gloss girl until I started playing around with my lip uh, with my lip liner combos. And now I'm just all about it. But there is Cookie Jar. So a really pretty orange color that honestly is still going to be bomb for the spring and the summer. And then the last one I have is just the OG Gloss Bomb. This is in Glass Slipper, which they just recently released the Gloss Bomb Heat in Gloss Slipper. So if you are a clear gloss girl like me and you are interested in lip plumping glosses, you may want to check that one out. I don't know if it's officially at Sephora yet, but yeah. Mine looks a little weird right now, y'all, because I think some of my other colors of lip products have gotten mixed in there. But it's just a beautiful, clear, easy to wear gloss. I wear clear gloss all the time. And the Fenty, the Fenty Gloss Bomb formula is just the bomb. Like if you've never tried it, at least try a mini size or something like that so you can see what works for you. But highly recommend her glasses for sure. Of lip products, you guys, are from Laneige. This is something else that I've talked about in a recent favorites video. This is the Laneige um glowy lip balm i believe and this is in the shade gummy bear so it's got like this very very light purple tint to it it looks really good on my lips and this is an easy way to get the laneige lip mask without like having to put that on because i know they market the lip mask to be as kind of like an overnight treatment so this is great to if you love the original Laneige lip mask formula but you want something that you can take with you that's easy to use so yeah I will probably be picking up another scent or flavor in this one as well because there are a couple of other ones that I want to try and of course just the OG Laneige lip sleeping mask I absolutely love these this is in this shade berry but I think I want to try the vanilla one because I have not tried the vanilla one so yeah I just love these formulas if you have never tried these these are also also popping up at discount stores like TJ Maxx and Marshalls if you are lucky enough to find them but I just recommend just picking them up at Sephora girl because you can pick up whatever color you want whatever shade you want and this one they have a light tint to them but these on my lips I can't see it that much which I'm totally okay with so yeah I do plan on picking up the vanilla one during the sale Okay, you guys, that is it for the skincare and makeup portion of this video. I actually will be doing a part two with my fragrance recommendation. So please stay tuned for that. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.